know what Alexander's hiding. That's what I'm trying to find out. Are you going to help me or not? It could take a few hours. Then you'll do it? Why not? I have the afternoon free. And now I'm curious myself. Besides, I like a good mystery. Do you recognize it? No. But it does have a very distinctive smell. Hopefully it'll help us identify the primary substance. Hopefully. You're gonna have to do a lot better than that. I'll do the best I can. But I will tell you this. Whatever's in this vial is highly unusual. Mm. It's something that I've never encountered before. You are a very strong man. Ugh. Most of you. <laughs> Which is why the symptoms were so subtle. It's a good job you were paying attention, because what is happening is a confusion in your brain, in the actual brain cells. The shedding part is on overdrive, and the replenishing part, it isn't happening. Yeah, well, that was elegantly put, but uh, it's not anything I haven't heard before. You didn't come to me for a diagnosis, you came to me for a cure. Now, I have a theory. I'm not alone. What I want to do is... I want to target these rogue cells, the ones that aren't cooperating, and eliminate them. And then I want to jumpstart the others to help themselves replenish. And you can do this. Wouldn't you like to try? It's not what I asked you. Mr. Merrick, your condition is extremely rare. I dare say it's unique. Now, there have been test cases with similar disease patterns. It's all here. I believe this can work. But I need you to believe it. You said to me that you knew what you were asking, what, what it would cost me to treat you emotionally and spiritually. Well, I know what I'm asking of you. I'm asking you to hope. You must. You have to hope if you're going to believe. And you have to believe if you're going to live. Now we begin. Oh, dear God, have I done the right thing? Alex? I guess we both have the same idea. What? To be close to Dimitri. Oh, yes. And... Maria, for me. Hmm. I miss her every day. She sounded like a remarkable woman. Dimitri said she was the heart of your family. Yeah. Sometimes I think... She was a little too sensitive, though, to be a neurosurgeon. Why'd you say that? Because she took the loss of her patient, so... Personally, but you know how often that happens in your business. Well, too often, I'm afraid. 
As a doctor, it must have been especially hard on you to lose my brother. As a doctor? I was a wife. As a woman, it was incredibly hard. It still is. Is that why you stopped practicing medicine? The high mortality rate? No. You know, Maria used to tell me about the, the toll that it took on her. Losing people that there was no hope. People she cared for. Yeah. It's never easy. Some people actually would ask her to help speed up their demise. Did that ever happen to you? Physicians deal with the issue of euthanasia. You have to question the patient's quality of life. So does the patient, I would imagine. I mean, we're talking human beings. It's not like it's just a sick cat or a dog. Oh, if an animal's sick and can't be saved, the kindest thing to do is put it down. With a human being, you know, well, animals, they, they can't tell you that they want to fight what's killing them or not. Patients have that choice. And they should. They can tell you how frightened they are. They can beg you to go to extreme measures to save their lives. Or they can do the opposite. What did Dimitri want? What did he want you to do? You were his doctor and the woman he loved. You're asking me if I helped your brother to die. Well, the answer is no. I think I killed your brother. I think you'd end his suffering if he asked you. I loved him. I would have moved heaven and earth to save him. Why can't you understand that? I'm sorry, I had to ask because you're his doctor. Oh, I've tried over and over to explain how I felt about him. That my feelings for him were real, deep, and passionate. I know. You refuse to believe me. Look, something is obviously tormenting you, Alex. When I walked in here, you were saying, Dear God, have I done the right thing? Now, naturally, I thought... Oh, what did you think? You were spying on I me. I was not. But if there is something that you know about my brother, you're not telling me, I have a right to know. Oh, I can't. I will, but not now. You will, but not now? Alex, how long do you want me to suffer? Oh, I never wanted anyone to suffer. Oh, dear. Have I come at a bad time? Oh, brilliant. You sent for him. Is this a setup? Are you trying to trap me? Look, I didn't even know you were in here. Neither did I. I stopped by the main house. Oh, the maid told up. me that Edmund was. Is that what this is all about? He's been putting ideas in your head that I murdered Dimitri. No, Alex. Although I understand why you might think that. Dr. Devane and I were in a little run in a few years back. As far as I'm concerned, that's over with. At least by me. Oh, you're so slick. You're like a little snake. But don't expect me to believe you, because I know better than that. You're just hoping I'll let my guard down long enough for you to strike. Alex, why are you so determined to defame me? Well, one of the reasons why I came here was to apologize. <laughs> well, what do you want to apologize to me for? The other day, when I followed you here from the hospital, you were, you still are, in mourning. And I had no right to intrude on that. I see. Shall we start all over? Friends? No. Oh, I've just realized I'm late for something important. So if you gentlemen will excuse me. <laughs> 